Hey, welcome back to another episode of Scentsy Fish Dudes. Today I got Scentsy Fish Dude Neil and another Scentsy Fish Dude, his older brother Paul, and we're going to catch and cook slab bluegill. Um, Paul, um, if you ever eaten at 20 Bricks or Padrino or The Governor, Paul is one of the best chefs in the city. He's won that award three or four times in a row. Um, he will be filleting the bluegill today right here. And then, unfortunately, I will be cooking them at home just because I can't go to his house, he can't come to my house, but I think I can handle that from there. But we're gonna see a, uh, a real chef do the filet here outdoors right after we catch him. I'm just going to uh, do a tried and true bluegill. I'm just gonna put a uh, one inch gulp of minnow on a trout magnet hook, toss it out there, and bring it in. They are all just staring at you. Bucket. Just a little gulp. We'll take off the bobber. They seem a little not cool with the bobber right now. Hey, Polly, do crappies have to be scaled? You probably don't want to do any scaling or anything. Okay. Yeah, let's throw him back. All right, caught a nice slab of a bluegill. We'll add it to our bucket. Ah, oh, I lost it. There we go, what we got here? Yeah. Crappie! Crappie! Empty out, grab the big guys. All right. All right, I'm gonna keep my distance from Paul here and he's gonna start the filet job. And then uh, I'll set the camera up over or on the tripod after I disinfect it. What kind of knife are you using today, Paul? Uh, this is a Muteki. It's a bony knife, but. How about how much do those go for? Uh, this one was $500. $500? Do we need a $500 one? Uh, it's, we start off with that. <laughs> All right, I'll get the uh, tripod set up. Okay, we're back home. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take all the fish parts that I'm not eating, like the heads and guts and stuff, 
gonna wrap it up in bags and put it in the freezer for catfish bait. Okay, so I wanna clean these first, and I'm just gonna run some cold water. And I'm just gonna move them around and make sure all the flays get cleaned out. So nothing too fancy tonight. I'm just gonna do a Louisiana um, fish fry for the breading. We're gonna use some sea salt, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, some seasoning salt, and a little dash of cayenne pepper. So for the side dish, I gotta have some crinkle cut fries. I'm gonna throw some fries here on the air fryer. So in this first bowl, I'm just going to put an egg, and a little dab of milk. I'm gonna mix that up. In this bowl, I'm gonna put the, uh, the batter. Put some Old Bay seasoning. A little more seasoning there. Seasoning salt, a little cayenne pepper. Mix that up. And mix up the pre batter. Then in a skillet, I'm going to put some oil. That's all the oil I have in. Just vegetable oil is all I got right now. And then um, just a little bit of butter. Next, I'm gonna take those fillets from that cold water and kind of pat them down here on a, uh, my paper towel. I'm gonna to put some sea salt on those bad boys. All right, so I'll take a fillet, put it in the egg and milk wash, put it in the batter, put it in the little... Can put a lid over top of them. You know I have to serve it with one of my favorite tartar sauces. The finished product. Fresh bluegill and crappie fried with a side of crinkle cut fries. Yeah. Fish that was cut only less than an hour ago. How is it? Oh, wow. Best cool. fish ever? Oh, yeah. Fresh bluegill and crappie. Crappie! Thank you for watching this Catch and Cook. Like and subscribe, if only because it helps my self-esteem. The music that was made for this video was done by my buddy Craig Dockery. So shout out to Craig Dockery. All right. Thank you.